Team Fortress TV YouTube, which is youtube.com, Team Fortress TV, where you catch the VOD of everything that is streamed in our channel, including these ESCA Match of the Week casts. And uh, dare I say, they are the best things on the internet, DJC? No, but they're close. Okay, well, Chris Krieg, Chris Krieg is in the uh, the hands of Shade. Um, that's kind of something they've been doing lately. Shade likes to run that early crits, uh, first round crits, which is very, very odd on a 5-point CP map. We're going to see how that works out for BP, who are on red. Zensity will then be on blue. We do know who gets the first kill in the middle, so we're just going to wait for it. There it is onto Tag. Mela does get it. Relic is going to do the roamer trade here, fighting on midpoint. Big spam fight. Both teams are very low, but it looks like BP is lower. Banny goes down. Dope! I don't know who that is, but he gets to double on a Banny incisor. Can they collect the combo, the crits? Does he have it quite yet? I'm looking over at him. He does. He pops it, but he's, they're all dead. There it is. Zensity with the wipe. Only Shrugger remains. Tag just spawn. Huge mid for Zensity. That was like that scene in Oz where the one guy got beat <laughs> to death with weight. That was pretty. That was pretty damn impressive by Zensity, honestly. Mela started off strong with a nice kill onto Tagarung, and they just move from there. Mela hitting a ton of damage. Tag is going to go for the play right now. Does hit a rocket onto Zensity Dope, who is otherwise known as Spades, the member of AA, formerly the Sniper Main, pretty much back in the day. And now he's developed into an invite scout, very skilled player. Zensity have a full uber up against a Sniper right now. Can Sizer save this round? Can Banny Sicky Trap save this round? The stickies appear to get cleared. Blinky's gonna eat a ton of damage. Pop is gonna go. The scout is in the last. Arby's onto the soldier. Lansky is dead. Arby doesn't take any damage. Benny's spamming futilely. Pressured by the soldier now. Mela is on his head. Shotgun Ooh. is out. The point is gonna go. And Zen City pulling a little bit of an upset, Seabear. My god, did I say this? Like, maybe they'll come out with the no warm ups. BP lost their warm up and, and they'll lose the first round. And then we'll have a game, and it'll be exciting. So, hey, Zensity, congratulations, man. I didn't think they were going to get around. In my heart Mela, of hearts, I thought it was 5-0. Mela did 625 damage per minute in that round, so he's that's, pretty great. That's, that's, that's good. kind of a lot. That's, that's Think about really how good. close that's Danny gets some games. That's in a minute. Soldier's going to jump in here for BP onto the uh, Zensity side. Cleans up the Demo Man, actually. Pretty big pick there, so no smack out, also known as the Joker. Relic is peeking out of the kitchen right now, though. Gets oh, a nice Blinky. direct onto Shrugger, but Blinky down to Banny. There are four alive, but the health is not good, and the health is pretty solid on BP. This is where you gotta go for the play. Dope is actually gonna take down Sizer. A little bit of action going on here, as now the Medic is caught in Kitchen. Shade falls to the low ground. They have pressure on him. Mela's in! The pop comes in the Ooh. last second. Shade stays alive. 41 HP, I do believe the final total was, and Zensity now have an advantage off of their better spawn. Banny cleans up too after the Uber does get popped, looking over at Blinky. He's only got a 10% advantage that that is uh, much better than having a 80% disadvantage. So a nice play by Zensity. Spades is still alive behind them as our cameraman is on him. I'm not sure what he's thinking. Maybe a back cap, but he's hanging out in the opponent's kitchen back at middle as we do have pressure going on to the second point here. I'm not sure where Blue is. I'm not sure where Spades is. Is he going to try to do something weird? I don't know where he is. I'm, I'm he's coming on the medic right now. He's on a shade. Unseen. One minute Red shot two makes it a kill. Relic with the bomb as well. Banny is gonna clean it up though. Ton of damage takes on Relic with the pipe and hits a ton onto spades. Blinky is at 85%. Mela has no health. I already saw Sizer was moving his little legs into lobby. There actually is very long legs. He's like six foot eight. I hear just some jumps going off, but BP just gonna sit here and wait and shade with the uh, the shady in response. Spawns with a little bit of crit screen. Yeah, the philosophy of Shade. When you die, go Kritzkrieg. The Shadian response is back. Um, yes, well, we'll see the push out there. Zensity did give up a lot. They did get the Medic, of course. Spades with the long flank play pays off, but they are at last right now, and they have to push onto two. Shade with Crits is at 60%. They're going to get in. How far can Blinky get without popping? He's taking so much damage. He's going to pop now. Uh, Zen City has point pressure here, but look at BP. They're just out, and they have crits right now, DJC. They're going to come right back through with their full team and get a crits off. Banny versus team. Crits is popped. Oh. One kill onto the demo. Make it two onto the roamer. Relic and the Joker down. Bomb comes. Mela not going to do anything with it, though. Gets cleaned up. It's just RB and the medic. The medic. Going for those Ubisoft. Shade is so low. Where is RB at? He is fighting the 1v1 on point. But the hypo from Banny, that was like a five kill, I think. It was. I'm pretty sure there was one kill that wasn't Banny's, and Sizer got it. I'm sure Banny right now, in his heart of hearts, is like, God damn it, Paul, I could have had a six, man. Yeah, and Zensity really 
Since, yeah, he could have. Zensity did everything right except for um, push that Uber into the combo. Um, they went on point with it, and they just they had nothing that they could see. Like literally, Uber just to walk about twenty feet. So we that's the uh, the relic spy cam, good sir. Oh shit! Last time we saw this, one of the worst looking stabs in TF2 history happened. Yeah. When Shamba died on CP process week, but the crits is gonna be popped so early, relic could not get in position. Mela's gonna die here. They're doing some long range sticky snipes. Vanny with pretty solid aim here, but Zensity have dispersed well. Crits is now out. They have pressured in, have BP up this left side. Tagarung is on them. Six HP cleaned up by the Pyro. RB tries for the snipes, gets cleaned up in spawn. Spades is on Pyro, taken down by the pincer attack of Lansky and that scout. Lansky makes it a double, in fact, taking down Relic. Mela's alive, but can they even get to point? He cannot. A triple kill by Thomas Lansky. The pocket soldier will make this a one-to-one -one affair. All right, so the crits, a real surgical push by BP, just poked in, Banny shot like a seven stickies, just holding them down and firing, no pressure. They like to try to sit back and get it. Blinky in the end was about 20% short of getting that defensive Uber and BP with the BP type push. Just slow and steady, um, methodical win there as we are at mid fight number three. Can Zensity get back on track here and take a lead back? We have early action. Tagaron has gotten in deep. He's going to actually kill Relic and stay alive, so a huge Roamer victory for him. RB is going to go down, and Zensi needs to get out right now. Uh, can they, though? That's the question. Tagaron is probably thinking flank right now. He actually jumped onto the Joker and killed him. Blinky is still alive, but he is the only one. BP wins middle easily. He is getting tracked right now by the uh, the Gazelle. Sizer is all over him, but Blinky is going to sneak right back in. Banny made it all the way to last, too, so Banny's thinking spawn camp right now. He's got sticks down, um, and look at the medic is right there with him. BP playing very, very aggressive in this third round. Yeah, this is a play that Banny introduced into his repertoire, I think, two seasons ago on Snakewater. Just moved straight to last. They're going to pop their Uber in, lock Zensity to spawn. Blinky finally has his. Banny gets juggled a bit, hasn't done a ton of damage here. No pop came out. Now it comes. Shade going to get cleaned up by that flank from Spades. Lansky caught in too deep as well. BP commit a little bit too far here. Lost three tag. Going for the big place underneath. Gets one scout kill. Relic cleaned up by Banny in the meantime. Tag looks like he wants to make something more happen. He is known. They are well aware he is underneath. And Shade spawning here with Uber. No crits creek. As Tag gets taken back down, Zensi want to move through lobby and start some cap time. But how are they going to do that when the giant fat Russian man of Sizer comes rushing to this point? Haha, -ha, rushing get... to the point. He's rushing. Yep. That was, that was it rushing. right there. Stick to the oh, Oz so references, sorry. my friend. I'm so yeah. sorry. I hope your dog bites your ankle after that. That was the worst, but um, Zensity got spammed out. And they're going to back up Shade. Uh, like you said, does not have crits. Actually, I thought you said he did, but he doesn't. RB was behind. Banny's going to kill him for his 5,000th frag of this game. Just three doms, 18 points. But I got to point out, Spades got a triple on that defense hold. He was Ubered and just kind of shot non-Ubered things. But still, really impressive game from Spades so far. Uh, the best scout on the, on the map right now. And I don't think you would have guessed that coming into it. Um, Uber is up for Blinky, but they are back. They're down one. They just got their full six up. They are not going to push out. They are going to chill out on this last point, which is traditionally pretty hard. They're going to get a heavy. You can think of another Russian joke there, DJC, because he is Russian and he's there. He's got this Russian gun. He's there. And he's going to slam gonna a bottle of vodka over Blinky's head and try and get the Uber drop when he gets in here. I would imagine that BP are going to go with some kind of push where they send everybody in for a force. Um with their uber and then sizer comes in very late to the fight you do see though some of that off classing the utility play from spades right now trying to peek through the drop down is going to pop a body shot uh eats a little bit of damage himself though has to back it up no headshot there no kill they really one kill here probably would be enough for zen city to push if they moved off of it quickly enough I don't know, man. I wouldn't push in this if, against Banny, and it's just, it's so, it invites getting wiped on too, like they did just last round. I think the best play is to try to try to do what they did earlier and, and win a fight decisively as Spades is going to get picked out, trying to be uh, sneaky, cheeky, uh, snipey guy, and that is definitely going to cue BP to push. Both teams are going to meet up here on the defensive left side. Banny is electing to go right into the teeth of this hole. The Uber is popped from Shade. They are getting in deep. Heavy is going to get the Uber here. A little bit better of an Uber from Blue, but look at BP. They're just out. They sneak in, force the Uber, do some damage, and get out. And actually got the better of that trade, uh, but, but they're they, going to wait now. They didn't even get to bring Sizer into that push at all from what I saw. 
Um, he did come in late, got his late, late, late buff, and pushed in a little bit, and Spade's gonna die once again. This would be a very good and interesting situation for BP to try and no uber push if they feel confident enough in their DM here. Looks like we are gonna see Lansky take an aggressive position. He is in on the medic side. That was tag, not Lansky. Lansky is passively spamming the support, though. Blinky is gonna stay alive. Uber's essentially even here. BP will have time to get Tagarung back up and make a push into last. That we'll get another crack at this. I'm just gonna see what they do with it. I'm feeling like the relic relic is gonna go. I'm turning to Leo Geo. The relic. Uh, I feel like relic might go spy or something here. I don't. Know, I'm feeling something weird. He's taking Spades' spot up in that drop down area. You know, relic doesn't like to hold for long. He's gonna try to make something happen. I don't know if he Sizer was spotted going into drop down. As Sizer was heavy, is now sniping. So he's gone from Russia to Australia, and now will he find a home with a bullet? DJC as he's crawling back into spawn. He actually waited to uh, get spawned in as heavy. So some nice teamwork by BP. Hold the door open. They have chivalry. Is not dead. If we're gonna go for a little bit of the Leo G action, we gotta see if Saja can deliver a bit of medicine to the doctor's face <laughs> here. Peeking in on the left door has that scope fully charged, can't spot anything out though. The big spam coming from the Joker will knock him away, but I think Saja has a few pills loaded up in that. Wants to dose, dole out a prescription here. They, they, they get the Medical force? Joke. Uh, yeah. They did get a force. Um, I was I making guess terrible Leo Juju. No, relic, Relic's drop down play worked out while you were talking and making your hilarious jokes. They're going to try to commit to this and at least force a pop at Zensity. Oh, Shade goes down to the spades. Body shot. Sizer is still scoped up. They're going to see him and pop in response. So Sizer is not going to do anything as of right now. Uber does get cycled out, but they do have a medic up. Does Zensity and Shade is still dead, so no heals. If they can get in and do some damage, they can force BP out here, but they have to be afraid of Sizer, who's got a sight line down. He's just taking shots right now. The medic! He's got Blinky goes down Sizer with his third or fourth shot. That could be a round turner, round winner for Sizer. Especially with Zen City trying to sell out here to make something happen afterwards. They lost two more players. No soldiers here. It's just a heavy a scout and a demo. Big pick gonna come on a Sizer, the first entrant, but Spades is weak, second on a tag. BP make it in, but they're not really pushing coordinatedly. That's not a word, doesn't matter. Mela's on the point to try for the defense here against the four, gets to pick on a Shrugger. Oh, Ubersaw's going out by Shade, the swipe. And that is a 2 to one as Shade performs a little bit of surgery on Mela there on point. <laughs> There's the Leo Geo. One swipe, two swipe, a little bit of surgery. It's like <laughs> Civil War doctor lobbing off arms and legs. The it's entire good cast to... is just going to be me making terrible jokes and references to other things and 90% of the people are just like, what the hell is this idiot talking about? Yeah, no one knows who Leo Gio Gonzalez is. Leo Gio, a little bit of medicine. So we were at mid-fight number four. Uh, Zensity had a strong hold there, but Sizer turned it around and took him down. Tag has gone into the skybox. Shrugger is going to go down. Tag goes down, but nice trade for him. Takes out... Uh, the demo. Banny gets sticked off. It is 100% legal, and I'm sure Banny's not happy about that right now. We have a soldier in kitchen. It is Lansky, and in the meantime, Lansky actually does kill off uh, RB. Mela went down. Zensity had this mid in hand, but they're bleeding dudes now. They have point presence, but it looks like BP doesn't want to give this up, and Lansky is still behind in that kitchen area. Yeah, he's on pretty much full health right now. They are well aware he is there. Shade has Zuber. He gets spotted out by Smack, although the fresh spawn. Lansky is now very well known. He still gets a nice rocket on a blink. If he gets the force here, I will Ooh. cry! Woo! 62 HP. If that had worked out, that would have been a terrible misplay by Zensity, keeping their medic badly out of position after knowing where Lansky was. A good mini surf from him and some nice cleanup afterwards saved it. And BP don't have a pocket currently, they just have Banny in the scout Look at pocket. the Shrugger cam though, Shrugger is sneaky sneaky right above them here. They have not looked, they have not checked for him, he's gonna drop down and probably get a force. He's actually choosing to damage Mela, pop some shots into him, he's gonna get out right there, so no Shrugger cam anymore. He got in and got out, and look at this push by Zensity, they've gotten in pretty deep, and not a terrible exchange of Uber here for Zensity, but they're gonna have to back out as of right now, because Banny is set up, and over on the other side of the map, Relic on the Sizer, it's a 5v6 for Zensity, Relic goes in, gets some good damage, Can they capitalize Zensity trying to coordinate the force no joker with two there's a scout behind he's jumped in but shrugger takes rb down wow what a back and forth fight and only banny and shade remain but they are staying up banny so aggressive so confident so cocky but if they don't get back they could get caught out right now they're already well back on last, however, and Zen City look like they're going to get aggressive underneath the play I never would have expected from this team. Shade gets bopped up into the sky right now on 12 HP. Size are cleaned up on wow. the floor, the only one blocking. That was the best push I've ever seen, honestly, like no hyperbole. <laughs> I've never expected, I would have never in a hundred situations been like, yeah, Zen City are going to push right now. 
And they came, and I don't think Bandy expected it either. I don't think anyone did because Bandy was still holding off the lobby right side. And they just shoved it all in through underneath and made a very nice victory here. We're going to take over another middle here. Got to see if uh, BP can react, come, come back from that last mid loss. Big bomb from Tagron gonna go under the shed here. Blinky taking no damage, but the Joker is down. Scout is onto Blinky. The dodges, the jukes are coming out. He's gonna bring out the needles, but it's not gonna matter. His team is getting destroyed on mid. Blinky will survive, but they are behind on Uber now. BP have five up, and Blinky is low life, and there are about four people coming to beat his ass with a baseball bat. See there? Wow, they're gonna they're gonna beat his ass. That's pretty that's pretty intense. So they're spamming out there, but Mela did stay alive with his his medic. So uh, Blinky wasn't naked, so to speak. He had team uh, coverage there. Cap is going down on the second point. Great mid by BP, just winning every individual fight. Tag with another early bomb in that fight onto Smacka, and uh, when Smacka dies without doing any damage, um, you know that Zensity is not happy. That mid is basically lost right off the bat. We do have a relic cam right now, good sir. I don't know if he is in or if he's just sneaking around. He's actually behind his spy, so he is absolutely committed to this, DJC. Will he find someone to stab as Sizer goes down? That's going to cancel the push. I don't know. He's in. He's looking at the medic. Good God, bro. Like, okay. He's like, Shrugger looked at him. I was like, what's up, man? Oh, wait. That's me. Your disguise is me. Yeah. It's a spy. Could have just gone for maybe a soldier pick there, gotten them a little bit of a delay, maybe waited around, but yeah, Relic goes deep, man. Relic goes for it every time. And he wanted the Banny pick there. He saw Shade up against the wall. He was like, I'm going to take Banny down. We're going to win this push. But uh, then they just turned and obliterated him with rockets and sticky bombs. It uh, looks like BP do want to get a bit aggressive here. Relic finally sniper. spawning after that fails by play. We have the Sniper. to try and protect Sizer. They go for the pick. He's moving underneath. Charges it up. Can he spot out a doctor? That Dr. Dre song is playing on the back of his head right now. Skylar Gray is singing her chorus. Eminem is rapping. What am I talking? Why? What's wrong what with my brain no. tonight? When you have no sleep, you go to, like weird pop culture references from like know, early 2000s. It's okay. That Sizer was like does... a year ago. That song yeah, came out last I was talking year. About, I was thinking about Great. So you, Sizer chunks yeah. out. Relic's going for round two, man. He's back on Spy, so he's giving the people what they want. I don't know if he's this guy. He's going to take the ammo right from Tag. <laughs> Tag's like, hey, I wanted that. Invisible guy. And Relic is going to back out. So mission accomplished, DJ. He's got it. He took the ammo, and he has gotten out. I'm rubbing my eyes and like trying to wake up and get out of this weird. It's not even like a funk. It's just like biz... I'm in oddity world. Like I'm gonna start making references to like the Dame oh, Judy Dench. Relic. Relic's gonna get cleaned up on the spot. Honestly, BP have to use that as a pick, and they will. They push off of this instantly. Force comes out a little bit late from Blinky, but Lansky has high ground. Takes the ultra high ground, protecting his team. Goes to engage this one v one on the side. Everybody on BP has clustered up. Zensity of hell for now. Their health is terrible. Oh, Blinky Smacka. very low. Relic is coming up though, and Relic can do a ton of damage. A bunch of cleanup here. The heavy is onto the point, onto the scout. Bandy Sticky's gonna kill. What is Relic doing? He is honestly the key in this fight. Damaging everybody on this far right side. The headshot's gonna go. Relic domes himself for the shade trade. Smacking doesn't realize the point's being capped. He's onto it now. Mela with the save. Bandy gets the one pipe and oh, oh my god. And only Smacker remains. Eleven nerds bite the dust. What a fight. There was so much craziness that happened there. Uh, Spades dodged for about five or six or seven rockets and scattergun. Took so much attention off the rest of that fight. That fight was won for Sensity to become Spades dodging damage. Unbelievable play from both sides there. We have Relic going for round 47. He's back on Spy. Um, and the I... best part of that entire thing, Eminem was rapping. I bet he's singing Lose Yourself right now as Relic gets in position to make this play. <laughs> what are you, he... giggly guy now? <laughs> yes. He uncloaked in plain sight of everybody, and he's just sitting here. I don't know what Relic's doing, but I'm enjoying it. He's just having a leisurely little stroll. He's got his picnic basket set up. He's ready to get a little ham sandwich right here. He's just looking like, hey, guys, they're sitting he's back there. He's waiting for I'm his sure cloak, this. man. Aren't you a spy? Yeah. Don't you know how to play? He's going to go know, back in. But... Shade has Uber. He's in cheese. Will Relic try to go all the way behind? I'm, I lost the Relic cam. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. He's just losing it. He is flicking his mouse around and running away. Shade is on Shade's crits. Shade's crits. Okay. The cameraman tells us Banny on the crits creek on the left side right now. Blinky has that Uber charge though. The crits is going to go. Oh! Two. Blank class is down. Oh Make God. it a third. Big smack of getting cleaned up on the side off of that crystal. What the hell? Uh, the Uber did come out from Zen City.
Melee's that was the, the worst alive. case scenario for Zensity. The, the, the Sticky found double kill City, and that's just going to be Waltz on the point and win it. The Relic uh, had a nice journey, got to see the sights. It's the second point here on Snakewater, and uh, Shrugger was like, oh, you're still Spy? I'm going to kill you again. <laughs> wow, okay, so the Crits Curry cork uncorks the third round, uh, the third round win there for BP, and they go into halftime at a very surprising 3-2. to two. What a game we've been treated to so far. No one saw this coming. Yeah, I really didn't. I mean, it could be even closer. Zen City made a few miscues in situations where they could have pushed back, given BP a little bit more of a fight. Uh, and Relic, honestly, you wonder if that fight goes a little bit differently if Relic is there to jump the Kritzkrieg or just do a little more damage at the end of the fight. Yeah. Being on spy and going for his stroll through time central square. Central. Okay, so this is only halftime, boys. If you guys and gals are new to TF2, um, we play till five here on these five point CP maps. So BP is winning. They have two rounds to go here. Teams need to re ready up here before we can start the second half. And in that meantime, I'm going to throw some pitches at you like I am uh, Randy Johnson. How can that be the first pitcher I think of? I okay. hopefully, hopefully a pigeon doesn't fly in the way of your yeah, ball yeah. and just explode into a million little feathers make children sad. I'm going Randy Johnson on you, but yeah, I want you guys, um, if you're new to the game, uh, our awesome mods and friends are going to put some uh, links for you. TeamFortress.tv is the central hub for everything TF2, other streams, our own TFTV stream where we cast non-ESCA Thursday night matches. It is awesome stuff. YouTube, uh, Team Fortress TV, Twitter, at Team Fortress TV. Join, follow, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And, is there uh, like an airplane in your apartment yeah. right now? It's, it's loud. <laughs> it's, it's very loud. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm trying to plow through it. Yeah, the second half is started here. Thank you, Slynn. The airplane Zensity. is crashing into Seaver's apartment. The Zensity is on red now. BP is on blue here. It is 3-2 in favor of BP. Can Zensity get another round here? Their last couple mids not been great. Uh, they're going to get Shade getting very aggressive early on at this mid fight. That blue medic crawling very deep on the point. It's going to get mirrored, actually, by Blinky. But there goes uh, Spades as the first kill. Banny does go down, which is worth their... About 15 kills, and look at this positioning. They're stuck right now. Can they get out? Zensity's trying to fly out, file out of their kitchen. Mela gets a kill onto Shrugger, and they are going to just sneak out here. And actually, that's some bad. It's 3v3, and Shade does and not have Uber. Play. Relic is actually in behind right now. He did a double kill on... He did a double kill. Yep. Grammar onto force Banny too. and someone else. And gets the force. Very well played from Relic. Blink, he did have to pop, but they will keep everyone alive. This mid isn't over yet. Shrugger just now spawning. Relic's not there. Banny's not even in the fight. Zensity could realistically get healed up and try to fight this all over again if they feel a little bit confident, a little bit strong in themselves. Um, but they're just going to hold very defensively. Uh, just let BP push into them. They, they are have to be aware now. A bit. Well, Shade has just caught up. Um, it's about 10% advantage. Um, I think they would be aware of this at this point. Um, of course, BP does recap or take middle off of Relic's huge play, though. Uh, kind of saving this round as of right now for Zensity. Relic is having such a great season on Roamer, just playing so, so well. Um, the double and the force, doing everything he can to keep Zensity in this game here. It looks like BP is going to crawl up uh, that left side. We call it Saw Room here on Snake Waters, where logs are turned into boards, DJC. And they're actually going to get spammed out and try to find another home, but uh, Ubers are even, so Relic has to go spy now, I think, right? Isn't that what has to happen? Uh, absolutely. I think my mind's so far gone that you could turn logs into a tasty, like, Thanksgiving dinner. My mind is going to weird places, man, and the yeah. thoughts racing through my head are not cast-friendly. I don't even know, it's not like, it sounds weird to say that, but man, things are getting trippy on my end. Okay, well, that's good. You hold on there, you put down the sack of mushrooms or whatever is going on over there, over there. And maybe you need to read some tweets. No, I'm just kidding. Don't read any tweets. All right, we got the big bomb coming in from Tagarong. He's going to get cleaned up before anything happens. They tried to follow up with some scatter spam and uh, maybe a banny pipe or two, but uh, they handled that bomb very well, did Zensity. Um, and they now have a one man advantage. Will they push? Well, we got a freaking Roma over here coming in. Not going to read any Twitters tonight. But we'll give a shout out to Bloodsire, the great, the tiny sniper, the tiny caster, the tiny man who's just great at everything he does. Yeah. Honestly, uh, it does look like Zensi wanted to get aggressive there, but BP have held them very well with this little hold in the sawmill, the window room. Spades wants to get aggressive on these scouts lower. Relic has gotten good spam off that scout. is kind of trapped in 52 and 60 HP there on Sizer and Shrugger. Zensity, if they knew the damage was there, they could honestly just shove this in right now and maybe get a force out, maybe push hard. But they're just going to sit back and wait still, so we're stuck in a stalemate here. Relic is yeah. hiding on the lower right now. He's waiting for one of the scouts to come peek out. He is doing what you call baiting in the TF2 world, using the uh, the 
tasty little threat of shooting one of his own scouts. They we see the, the action force. coming in, tag yeah. pops it off. Yeah, I just saw the tail end of that as I was zooming around in third person. Yeah, uh, Shrugger, go ahead and snuck it. Wow, look at this play. They not only forced Uber, but they did a lot of damage. Their shade also had to force on the other side of the map. Sorry, I missed that, guys. Hopefully, Slim caught that. So, Ubers actually are now uh, back in the same position. They don't have them. Uh, BP, though, they queued in the push. Smack is doing his best trying to repel. He's going to get bombed right now. Will he make it back into this doorway? Smack a Ooh, play. Living life on the edge there does make it back in, but the point is down. BP and the sliver of an advantage push, and they take that, that point. NG is on last, putting up the gun. Zensity are right here in this game, but they're losing fights just barely, and they, they aren't able to keep ground, getting pushed back a point each time, it seems like. And now they're on last, so um, maybe they can repel a push. They've shown that they can stay on last and hold, but they haven't been able to re-push yet. Yeah, they're going to set up with their sentry heavy defense here. When you do this, you're pretty much playing for BP to just waste a bunch of time and then push into you. BP will force out, Zensity will hope that their giant mass of high HP things will take so much energy from BP to shoot at that Zensity gets some cleanup kills after. Uh, BP do want to get some pre-fire here though, I think they know some good splash spots to damage this heavy. The gun has been relocated from its original spot, I don't think BP have spotted that out yet. Slim can show us that it's in the valley down below. BP is still just trying to poke you. on this door. Yeah, it's a very nice position there. It's not where you would ever expect it to be anymore. It's kind of a an old position for a sentry Blink gun. Goes down. Oh, oh, my run. Lord. Are you kidding me? How did we miss that? Tag with oh, no. jumps sentry in, gun. drops the medic. The Uber's going to be popping right now. How does that possibly happen? A brilliant spotted sentry gun, the Leo Geo style, missing action Seriously. in favor of gun. Oh my god, the push is going to come in. Yeah, it's too bad. Mail is trying to best to hold this. Danny does go down, but too much. Joker Shade with the needles, and that's gonna be it. Wow, Tagarong opens up the round with the double. Unbelievable. He actually got out as well. He didn't die. How did that happen? I wish that either of us knew. I don't know if Slim saw it or caught it. Terrible. I hope so. I was, I was like literally doing the Leo Geo. I had my camera in third person. I was flying in and out of the sentry gun, going wee -hee -hee -hee, and giggling like I was 12. We're okay. okay to another mid. BP have one. <laughs> <laughs> they have one more round and they win this game, so Zensity have to clutch this. Relic's going for the long con, gets spotted out by a scout, is fighting him, and in the meantime, Sizer and Banny cleaned up, struggle with the, uh, the kill onto Relic. Cool, Tag okay. with the double, though, the big takedown on the demo and the scout. Lansky comes in behind a little too late to save his Medico. It's Mela and Blinky against three people with not a whole lot of health. If Mela is aware of this HP situation, they could push with this Uber, but he is backing off. They're like waiting forward a bit. It seems like they're unsure what they want to do. They're going back. If they out. knew, if they knew, man. Nope, yeah. they're going forward. The indecision, the scout is here. Mela's moving through the sawmill. They waited so long, though, the four-time stack. There are five people here. Mela, the pop comes. Nice. A mistake, a crucial, crucial mistake. Mela doesn't even want to come on the point. He's so ashamed of his actions. He was staring at Blinky there like, man, I don't deserve this point. But that was... Like they will cap. Chris yeah, they're going to get the cap. Shade. Shade has crit, so it's going to be um, probably a, a, a short hold there. Um, worst case, probably possible there for Zensity outside of a random tag forcing Blinky to drop, I guess. They, like, let him cap, and then they went back in and Ubered on nothing, and that's really awful. Sorry, we, we try to be positive, but that was bad. Zensity, um, indecision, like you said, cost them really weird decision-making. Bandy's got crits right now. Here we go. His first sticky is actually going to hit Mela, but he's going to live right now. Shrugger goes down. This crits hasn't done a whole lot, but he is on the demo and medic right now. Ooh, Blinky just sneaks away, but uh, Smacka is still in. He's going to walk in and kill Bandy. Ooh, Smacka, and that actually could still fight this if you're Zensity. They have heals, but they are out. Two scouts getting spammed in or maybe they'll go back in. I don't know. They're so indecisive right now. BP has this point locked up, although they haven't capped yet, so forward spawns, if they're going to get these in two seconds, I think they actually are. Yeah, this is just a misreading of the situation by Zensity. They're so close to Uber, they should have just built that aggressively and went in right after. They have now given up position, and they have to push in again. Severely disadvantaged. You see BP just back out instantly. The needle's going off there. Oh, oh Spades is in so deep trying for it. Mela taken down as well. The three deaths here, the only trade is Shrugger, and they're going to start this cap, but there's only three of them. Crits is a coming, boys. you got to get on your high horses and get out of here. Joker is providing some nice safety spam, as Tyrone may say, trying to get his team out. Relic wants to make this play, though. They're so far forward. He is this is such a mistake. Right such a mistake, man. Banning has that crits ready. It's been popped under the ramp. The sticky oh. going to take down Smacka. Blinky as well. The double. The triple goes for on Relic and will get it. A crit rocket comes out at the tail end there from Lance. Jesus. Another 
Just another like poor decision, indecision. I don't know what to call it from Zensity. But BP have a full six against two, and they're moving in already. Banny is in. Oh, what a pipe on the Mela. Shade with a regular saw onto, onto Spades. And that is it. They're all over this point here. Demo Combo's gonna try to sneak on here. Blinky's swinging his saw. He's still alive somehow. Good's gonna go down finally. Is that somehow possible? No. That's another Shade with a regular bone saw. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Make it two to end this game. Zensity's lack of decision making ability. That sounded more like that was pretty mean. They played really well compared to what we thought. They gave us a great yeah. game. So GG's are gonna go out. Um, Decision making flaw um, cost them that last round of round that they probably should have won actually, or at least had a, a much um, better position again. So wow, DJC, are you okay? By the way, you're worrying um, me with your your oh, actions man. tonight. This is like the most Leo Geo outro we can do. It's okay. Well, I don't think no, we're gonna. That's have... what I'm trying to think. I want. I really want to do a Leo Geo outro, man. What did he do? How did he say goodbye to his viewers? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been too long. Yeah. I only remember him from his top 10 videos, but let's not talk Leo Geo. Let's look at the stats, um, which are up right now thanks to our cameraman, Slynn. It looks like Banny is going to go ahead and do 415 damage per minute and go 40 and 9 with 13 assists. Absolutely lugging his team there. Tagarung, 20 and 16, had a lot of damage compared to Lansky, and Lansky did not have a good game, actually, was out damaged by Mela, so a nice performance by him. Um,. Does anything else stick out for you? RB had a pretty bad game going 8 and 18, and um, yeah, Spades 20 and 17, so a good game from Spades against two very good scouts. So um, the stats tell me that Banny is really, 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 really good. Yeah, not a whole lot of interesting things here. Is Banny out damaging many, many people? You do see the blinky Uber drop where he got popped like a cherry. Shout out to whoever said that in chat, reminded me of Leo Gio's catchphrase. That's um, true. Do we have a post-match interview lined up? Um, I have not gotten messaged by anybody in BP from BP, which would be the, the interview that would make sense. Um, at this point, it is um, 11.53 Eastern Time. Probably not, unless I get a message right now. Um, in the meantime, while we still have some of you guys, I talked about this in our pregame. Um, we do have um, a charity event that's that's lined up now from uh, the TF2 streamers and personalities here trying to help kids with cancer. Uh, the One Step program is going to be the charity of choice. Um, it's going to be more information released in the, the Team Fortress TV forums and I'm sure releases all over the place. We're going to make a big deal out of it. We're going to do our best to raise money for kids with cancer and leukemia. Um, send them to summer camp, which is actually a really cool program. Um, and Team Fortress TV is your place to go to follow uh, TF2. And I have no um, interest for a post game from anybody, it appears. So I think we are just going to call it right now, my friend. Is there any other crazy crap that you want to say before we go? Uh, I'm thinking of Oz still. And I'm just remembering well, that's a bad Oz thing to that think I can't of. talk about on stream. Yeah. You already <laughs> talked about the pissing in the bucket and the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think mean, we're done. I think, I think so we've done our done. bit of good it's tonight, been, DJC. It's been a fun night. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hopefully it's fixed by next week. Yeah, Because we have more casts to do. And if it's not fixed, I f people seem to enjoy it in chat. So, hey. I think, I think, it's, such a bad I think it was, it's a good change-up, but you're, you're scaring me. And the ladies, they don't know what to make of it. All right, guys. So, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, we will be back next week for La 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 Badlands. And I want to say a special thank you to Mr. Slynn on cam. I always forget to thank Slynn. We um, can love you, Mr. Slynn. Thank you uh, Mr. so Mr. Slynn, who puts up with so much crap from us and, and our pseudo-awful, really racist, bad personalities. We're awful people over here at Team Boy. This TV over here. Um, but yeah, thanks, guys. GG's. And we will see you guys next week for Badlands action. And have a good night and a good weekend.